All right, I am at the Liberty Springs Trailhead in the White Mountains in New Hampshire to hopefully start a two-day backpacking trip, going solo, going in April. I'm a little nervous. I haven't done a 4,000 footer since November, so it's been a while. There's about five other cars at this trailhead. I honestly thought there would be more people. It's a Monday, but it's also the first day of April school vacation, so I thought maybe more people would have today off and be out on the trails. I'm nervous, as you can probably tell. It's probably gonna be the coldest I've ever camped in the whites. It's also on a day that there's not gonna be very many people out there, apparently, so that makes me nervous. But I'm gonna give it my best. I'm probably gonna camp at the Liberty Springs campsite. I wanna hit a couple 4,000 footers today. Um, I'll see what the conditions are when I get up there. I don't usually do 4,000 footers in April. Um, so there's still definitely snow up there. I brought my micro spikes. I brought a lot of warm gear. So I'm just gonna give it my best shot. Um, I stopped at Dollar General on the way to the trailhead to get my snacks because I didn't prepare well enough in advance. So I'm gonna pack my food bag and hit the bathroom and start hiking. It's like 10 in the morning right now. I'm already shivering. <laughs> So I'm gonna put this on for now and hopefully I can shed this layer as soon as I start walking uphill. So they say you overpack your fears. Well, in this case, I think I overpacked everything. I have extra food, extra water, extra layers, extra warmth for my sleep system. So I'm gonna be extra safe. Um, I just wanna see how much it weighs. It is 20 pounds. Cool. So it's like 0.7 into the hike and this is where the trail actually meets up with the Appalachian Trail. So for the rest of this backpacking trip, I will be mostly on the AT, which is cool. But yeah, it's about to go up an incline. So it's a good time for me to take this layer off. I packed so many layers to hike in because it's April in the White Mountains and it's probably cold. There's some snow on the ground, but here I am hiking in a t-shirt in a tank top and my back is completely drenched with sweat. And now that I took those layers off, it just feels good. The breeze, I'm cooling down. I was definitely overheating. This is the trail right now. So I just stopped on the side to put my spikes on so I wouldn't slip on that. I absolutely love these little tiny Snickers bars. I find them at Dollar General and it's just nice to snack on. You don't have to like commit to a full Snickers bar. And I got a couple, I got like Snickers, Twix, Milky Way, so changes up the variety. This tent platform is pretty nice. <laughs> um, sat down, put my layer on because it is pretty chilly. Um, I think this is gonna be what's for lunch. Let's see. I'm gonna finish this water. It's got like noon electrolytes in it. And it's pretty nice. This platform is in the sun, so feels good right now. I finished the cookie. I finished the water. It's about one o'clock. 
I really do like this campsite. I can see the privy over there. There's also like a bear box to put food in overnight. Um, it's a little cold. It's about 0.3 miles up to Franconia Ridge Trail. So I'm gonna pack everything up in my backpack and head up. I could leave my backpack here and like set up tent and not have to carry much up there, but I kind of like carrying the full pack today. It's making me feel strong and not that I'm training for every, anything in particular. Um, maybe do some smaller backpacking trips. I also have my wedding this summer, so I want to be <laughs> in good shape for that. Uh, I'm excited to get up on the ridge and see what the view is like because I haven't gotten any glimpses of the view yet. It's very foresty here. I'm up on Franconia Ridge Trail. The AT goes that way. I'm gonna go ahead that way. The sign says Mount Liberty is in 0.3 miles. So that's gonna be the first 4,000 footer of the day. This is the summit of Mount Liberty. You can see Loon Mountain over there. Down here is Franconia Notch with Cannon and the Kinsmans on the other side. Franconia Ridge goes up there. That's where Lincoln and Lafayette are. The Bond Cliffs are close. And then behind them with the snow on it, that's gonna be the Presidential Range. Um, Mount Flume is over there. I think I may get that may get that one next. I'm just gonna look at the map and see how far away it actually is. But you can see so many of New Hampshire's mountains from this spot. So Mount Flume is exactly one mile away. So I'm gonna go hit that. It's a little before two o'clock right now. So there's still a lot of time in the day. So I am on Flume right now. You can see the view. <laughs> Over there is Liberty, so that's where I just came from. And then behind it, you can see a better view of Franconia Ridge. This is just a quick stop on top of Mount Flume. I gotta turn around and go back the same way that I came, um, up and over Mount Liberty and then down the 0.3 miles off the ridge to the campsite. Um, set up camp. Back once again on the summit of Liberty. Um, I'm just gonna chill for a second. That walk to and from Flume was really tough. It got steep in some parts and the snow and the ice is kind of tough to, to hike through. I know my heart rate got pretty up there um, when I was going up. So now I'm just relaxing. Took my socks off. My feet got a little wet walking through the snow and there were some puddles. So I'm trying to air them out a little bit. You know what? I realized that I forgot a piece of gear. 
One, I wish I brought extra socks, but two, I forgot my spork. And this is what I packed for dinner tonight. I can either like drink my pasta, I could use a tent steak, or I could just have this for dinner. I don't know. We'll see when I get to camp. All right, back at this tent site. Um, it appears like I'm the only one here so far. I think it's around four o'clock. Um, it'd be nice if more people came, but at this point I'm not really expecting it. It's not that many people on the trails today. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's not the first time I've camped alone. I camped alone the whole time I did the Monad Noxonope Greenway Trail, um, but that was in summer. So it's a little different now that there's like snow everywhere and it's April in the White Mountains. That makes me a little more nervous, but I'm excited for like a nice, quiet, peaceful night. I got the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2, kind of like staked into the tent platforms. This is the tent I bring when I know that I'm gonna set up on here. Little stakes just kind of fit in between the planks of wood. I got everything staked out. That one's in the snow, which was nice. Got everything staked out except that one, but it's, Set up pretty nice, there's a lot of room inside. Oh my god. This pine martin just walked right up to my tent. <gasps> that scared me. It was so quiet, I didn't notice until it was like five feet in front of me. I heard a little sound. I thought it was like a little bird that landed on the snow in front of my tent, but it was pretty cool to see a pine martin. This is only the second time I've ever seen one, so they're pretty rare in the White Mountains, but they're so cute. I want to see if it comes back. That made me nervous though. <laughs> my heart jumped when I saw it. I was not expecting an animal that big. Um, to be right in front of me. I thought it was gonna be a bird, maybe like that big. Yeah, I decided that beef jerky and wheat thins are my dinner. Could be worse, but I don't really wanna eat pasta without a spork. But this is why you pack extra food, in case you can't eat some of it, so. I came prepared and it worked out. Now I'm just keeping my eye out for like other wildlife that could just walk right up to me. <laughs> so I've been sitting in this tent for like two hours <laughs> and it's only six o'clock. I'm pretty bored um, and I just feel lonely. I don't know why this just for some reason this camping trip overnight trip isn't that exciting because I'm doing something that would normally be a day hike and I thought camping out here for the night would be really fun and I had some new gear and I really wanted to try it out but I don't know there's like an hour or so left of daylight and I honestly just think I'm gonna pack up well I am I just got off the phone with chat I'm gonna pack up and just go back to the car it's only like two and a half miles away um this was a really nice day. I've been out on the trail since 10 o'clock this morning and I've had a lot of good like time to think about things and I daydreamed a lot about my future and other hikes I wanted to do and I don't know. I just, I'm a little bored out here. I'm gonna pack up. I'm gonna go home. I don't consider this camping trip a fail because like I hiked six miles. <laughs> like. This isn't a big camping trip. I just wanted to get out in the woods for a little bit and I'm fine with, with what I did today. I was originally supposed to do this camping trip with friends, but 
one of my friends got a little bit injured, so she didn't want to come. I'm gonna go home, probably get McDonald's for dinner because I don't know if that beef jerky really hit the spot. Now I know I only need 10 minutes to completely pack up camp. <laughs> I did that really quick.